This is a ninth age battle, a refused flank, diagonal, diagonal deployment, with a breakthrough objective to get to the enemy's deployment zone with as many scoring units as possible. We have highborn elves with three bolt trovers and cavalry and archers and two flame phoenixes. This is one of them. And swordmasters conga lining up the middle. On the other side, Sylvan Elves, with many Archers and Sylvan Sentinels. These are Pathfinders, scouting up. Blade Answers, Thicket Beasts, and altogether four units of Wildwood Riders. And these may come in ambushing later. The Highborn Elves dropped everything and take the first turn. But they held back a bit on the deployment. So they probably think they can outshoot the forest elf. On high elf turn one, they move tactically, the swordmasters a bit forwards, the phoenix backwards, and this flame phoenix failed a charge and the redirect. First he charged the pathfinders who fled through the dryads, then he charged the five Wildwood Rangers. In the magic phase he flopped. In the shooting phase he shot down with his archers four of the Wildwood Rangers riders. And on the side you just saw by the charge he shot down four Wildwood Riders with three bolt rovers. No panics. Sylvan Elves will go on the offensive. The Sylvan Elves move forwards to defend their homeland. The first Wildwood Riders have spears, the behind ones have Sylvan paired weapons, Sylvan blades. The archers shoot the wound of the Flame Phoenix and the other archers there Actually the Sylvan Sentinels shot the wounds off and the archers together with these archers shot two Silverams who fled on the general's leadership of ten. These Sylvan seven Sentinels uh, they fluffed, the Pathfinders rallied and the Magician here, Archtrude, he got off Summer's Growth and restored three Wildwood Riders to life. And two Archers because he got the Oaken Throne off as well. Highborn Elves turn two. They have archers in the rear, and this is a flame phoenix. The Highborn Elves move forwards with their big bus of Swordmasters and their two Fire Phoenixes. The Silverams rallied, but they're far in the back. This round, the Highborn Elves did damage. They shot down a couple of archers and they fled. They shot down five Sentinels in the General's unit, where the Archtrude is. They shot down the last Wildwood Rider here, and they shot down four Wildwood Riders in this unit. And they're moving up to take the center. Will they break through?
two flame phoenixes in the front and an eagle in the back. Where's the last eagle, Espen? Uh, what's the one? Oh, he's, he's in the know, middle there. These are the two eagles. The others are flame phoenixes. The bolt rovers did plenty of damage against the sentinels. The wildwood riders charged and the one wildwood rider charged as well and got shot down in stand and shoot. The arc druid dropped the forest right here and he's placed himself with the sentinels in the middle of the heap. And there's a chaffing unit of play dancers there in the forest as well. The drives are coming in on the flank of the swordmasters. These archers rallied. They no long longer have the gleaming icon. So Sylvan Elf archers are hanging back. The Highborn Elves are clumping up in the middle and the Sylvan Elf is charred trying to chaff them up and control the center, but this will be exciting. And the Highborn Elves have lost very little. So already in turn two there's a lethal battle between the Elves in the forest, and that might be in the advantage of the Sylvan Elves. The Wildwood Riders did 16 wounds to the 10 archers and overran only two inches. This is the rest of the battle. Uh, the Sylvan Sentinels shot down the Phoenix, doing three wounds to it, so it lost its two remainder. And the ambushing fast cavalry, glade guards, are coming up towards the poultry. The Silverams move up, the Eagle chaffs the Drides, and these Swordmasters reformed. The Flame Phoenix swooped over the Blade Dancers in the forest, and because they were in a Congo line of eight ranks, he killed everyone with 23 hits. After the swoop? Mm. A swoop. Flame, swoop. flame Swoop. The Archers move up to Chef, as, and these Silverams move up. They shoot down everyone but the last Wildwood Ranger here. And that's it. The General is in a perilous, the Archtrude is in a perilous position here, just beside the Elven Druid, the Master of Craneg Tower. He doesn't have good Druidism, he has alchemy. Mm. And he used that to good effect this round against the Wildwood Riders. The Bolt Rovers waste one round, shooting down the ambushing Glade Guards, Glade Riders. And the archers in the back are dead. That was Highborn Elves turn two. Three. This is the first time, first time I've been right about which <laughs> turn it is, <laughs> and I'm doing the bat report. Yeah. At the end of round three, the Wildwood Riders came in and did three wounds, but the Flame Phoenix did three wounds left back, and only one Wildwood Rider is, is left in the combat. So that was a bad charge. The Sylvan Sentinels do one wound to the Silveram. The Thicket Beast face the Swordmasters in the forest. And the Pathfinders and Archers shoot down almost all of the Silverams there. We forgot to resolve the combat with the Dryads and Eagle. The Archdruid and the Sylvan Sentinels fled from the Silverams who charged them. On a 15 charge, they tried to redirect into the one Wildwood Rider and failed. The Swordmasters charged the four Thicket Beasts. Problem is now the Arc Druid is fleeing and can't cast Stone Skin on them. The Dryads killed the one Eagle and overran. And this 
Silverham charged the Pathfinders, no stand and shoot. And the BSB lost a wound running into the forest against the Thicket Beasts. The General Druid of Craneg Tower lost a wound as well, but Ward saved it. And he's chaffing the Dryads. It's still an open battle. The guys in the back behind the bolt throwers are dead. This is Highborn Elves, the start of their turn 4. I like a 5. A 5 try? Yeah. 4. On turn 4, the Highborn Elves start picking. They shot down enough archers to... Something they shot down the Wildwood Rider. No, they shut down the wild. Sh they shut down the wildwood rider and caused panic on the archers who fled towards the side of the board. The bolt robbers, on the other hand, there shot down eight archers by the lake. And now we're resolving the close combat with the swordmasters and four thicket beasts in the forest. The phoenix killed the last wildwood rider. Swordmasters killed every one of the three Thicket Beasts except the last one, who has two wounds left. The last Thicket Beast takes revenge in the forest and swallows up the battle standard bearer and pushes him under his roots. Uh. That was Highborn Elf's turn four. Now there are only archers left on the Silver Elf turn four to take revenge. The Silver Elf killed one. So I was calm and Pathmaster. Klart å bygge opp... Ikke si det på Battle Reporten da. And now it's Highborn Elf's turn 4 is finished. Now it's Sylvan Elf's turn 4. On Highborn Elf, turn 5. The Flame Phoenix does a quick process of these Sylvan Sentinels. And we just quit after Highborn Elves have done their turn 5 because all except the two uh, Sylvan Sentinels are fleeing and they missed their arrows when they shot in the turn 5 Sylvan Elf turn. The Swordmasters charged after reforming, after killing the Thicket Beast. They charged the Dryads and killed 11 of them. The four remaining fled and got away. But over here, the single Silverham managed to chase down and win because he is a musician on the uh, against the nine Pathfinders. So the Sylvan Elves mopped up the battle and seemed to get a solid victory in the breakthrough. They would be moving up their silver amps to get the objective as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw a little, uh, little jump to there and. Ah, I have a problem with the bag. The bag is so that I can't hold on to it. I have to hold on to it.